Hi, today I'm going to talk to you and show you how to fix the scanner warm up error that happens on these HP LaserJets 3300 series. That's the 3300, the 3330, and the 3380. That's where the display lights up and it says scanner warm up, and the scanning assembly is just sitting over to the right side and it's lit, but it continues to say this and nothing happens. A lot of the guys in the industry uh, will tell you that you need to replace the whole deck assembly with the scanner in it, but that's not the case. Um, what we're going to do, and I'm going to kind of work fast today, but we're going to clean the mirror frame. That's the problem. And there's actually five mirrors inside this mirror frame. Um, I'm going to kind of give you just a general idea of how to access this, okay? Um, the, the camera today, is it's really hard to kind of get you in on these uh, views. First thing we want to do is if you have the 3300, uh, just pull the lid off, just lift straight up. If you have a 3330 or a 3380, lift up on the glass clips, lift the dock heater right out of its socket. Okay, at this point in time, you're going to want to remove the screws all the way around. And I'll kind of point them out to you. You got one over here, uh, one right here, one down here in this hole. You got one here and one here. Okay, at that point in time, you can also take the display, and we're going to want to put a flat blade under it, take the cover assembly off. The display won't come out of its socket. You have to actually push it to the right, lift up, unplug it. You're also going to have a couple screws, one here, one here, and one in the middle. You're going to want to remove those also. On the back of the machine, you're going to have to open up the rear door, and then capture the screw right in the middle. Okay, what our goal is, is that we want to remove the glass at the top. At this point in time, open the toner access cover and remove the right door panel. Open up the right side, one screw in the gray plastic in the back. The cover plate comes off. At that point in time, you'll have two screws right here and here. This is going to remove the bottom cover of the, uh, of the uh, flat, as we call it in the industry. And you got one on each side. You have to repeat this process on both sides. Again, two screws. This door hinges open on the connectivity side. Yeah, this is a really good repair. Uh, and so this is such a common problem. Okay, um, there is one screw that is the most difficult to uh, to remove. And um, without taking apart the whole assembly on this machine, what we're going to do is just use a flat blade, and we're going to remove that front access cover on both sides. And um, in order to do so, we have to kind of get in here and kind of bend it back. And it's held down with a couple hinges at the top and the bottom. Now, if there's one screw right where my finger is, I want to make sure you can see that, right here, and you have to come in with a small Phillips from the bottom side. We're going to kind of cheat the system here and not, uh, not rip apart the whole, mach whole machine to do this. Otherwise, you, have to, you actually have to tear this machine pretty far down. This is the last screw that holds the, uh, the lid assembly on, or the platen. Again, use a good magnetized screwdriver. You can see my screw just fell off. Okay, at this point in time, you have a couple little clips, one on each side, and you have to get underneath those. And we're going to be able to uh, lift up this lid assembly. And I also have one screw left on the right, the right side. doing is I'm removing the two screws that are located underneath on each side. Now we can lift up on this uh, glass very carefully. And again, there's two little plastic clips on the front, just like that. Okay, you can see the glass is off. Make sure you kind of hold it, and you can clean this glass now with some Windex on the back side or on the front side. 
it's always a good time to do it. This, this is our problem right here, and we're going to clean this. And I'm going to push it forward, and I'm going to see if I can get you a better view while we do this. Okay, let's go ahead and use a pick tool and push down in these little openings on the left and the right side. You can see that. See how that just came off? Nice and easy. There's the five mirror frames. And what we want to do is use some Windex and some Q-tips and clean these mirror frames really good. Real good. Um, again, we got one back here, we got one up here, we got one underneath, we got the big one right here with the bulbs in it. And by getting all these mirror frames really clean, we're going to correct that bulb problem that you're seeing. What's happening is, is the machine is actually looking for a reading from the, uh, from the bulb, and it's looking for density. It's seeing if that bulb's bright enough. And by that bulb, by these mirror frames being really dirty, uh, the machine doesn't think that the bulb is bright enough, therefore it's going into an error. And believe it or not, these mirror frames don't have to get really dirty. They can almost be like a hazy color, and that's all it takes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this back on and uh, kind of put it back together just so we can kind of, uh, but you know, give you the general idea on how to do this. And again, you'll put your screws back on. I always start, like to start with the lid assembly with the uh, bottom first. And then just push it forward. Got a couple little clips on the bottom. And of course, you would put your screws back in at this time also. like that. Again, reattach the screws. Um, you'll put the screws back in the top, all the way around, the two in the back, one underneath, and uh, put your little side cover plates back on, one on each side. You would re-plug in back in your display with your little wiring harness. Start off from the right side, push to the left, and um, you can see this is a really simple repair that's going to give you a great result. And uh, again, uh, you're not going to have to buy this whole top of this machine. Um, again, I hope this video was helpful.